I'll pinky swear to you right now that I'm gonna try my best to be unbiased, even though I almost exclusively use one of the six phosphate test kits I'm about to show you. Welcome to the third installment of our best of test kits series. If you haven't watched our video on ammonia test kits or nitrate test kits, I have the links to those below. Please consider subscribing to both My First Fish Tank and Marine Depot and links to all six test kits we're about to dive into are also below the fold in the description below. Let's just go through all six test kits alphabetically and at the end we'll sum everything up and tell you our favorites by category and that means for the third best of series in a row, API's up first. You know, when I started in this hobby, I just wasn't really a big fan of the API. I never really used them. I think I just got in a rhythm with the Red Sea test kits. But the more I use API, the more I really do just like them. I think they're just good quality and super affordable and relatively easy to read that they've oftentimes become my go-to test kit. Again, spoiler alert, API is gonna be the cheapest. You can pick up this, 150 tests for $12.50, which comes out to eight cents a test, which is gonna be less than half the price of its nearest competitor. The overall total testing time it takes me is about four minutes to do this test, and that's with about three minutes of waiting. For ease of use, almost all the phosphate test kits are pretty easy to use. The only hard thing, and it's always my standard complaint, is this vial is just super tall that it's a little bit tippy, but as long as you don't knock it over, it's relatively easy to use. For readability, if we were to go easy, medium, and hard, it would be somewhere around the medium level, and there's really two reasons for that. The first is just how API does their test kits. You have to hold the vial up against the white part of this strip here, and if you hold it like completely against it versus a little bit further away, it changes the reading. Not only that, but for the phosphate test kit here, let me see if I can show you. I found this one a little bit more difficult to read because if you look here, 0.25 all the way down to one, they're really similar shades of green, so that makes it quite difficult to tell exactly where it falls. So I found this one a little bit more difficult to read. Quality and durability, it's just cheap cardboard, but the actual test kit itself, it's pretty good quality glass, and then it's really nice to have a laminated card. So quality and durability, it's moderately durable. The best characteristics of the API phosphate test kit is it's super fast and it's ridiculously affordable, especially when compared to everything else. The worst aspect of the API test kit just has to do with how close in color the 0.25 to one part per million is. So at the lower levels, this is a little bit difficult to read. the Hanna phosphate checker, I, I just do. But if you're looking for the price, the initial price on this, which is $50, so if you were to take price per test starting out, it would be $5 per test, which is an absolutely ridiculous price. But luckily, the reagents are significantly cheaper. You can pick up a pack of 25 of these reagents, so that means that every future test is only gonna cost you 31 cents a test, which is still obviously significantly more than the eight cents per test for the API test kit. The HANA test takes about three minutes of total reading time, but overall it takes me about six minutes to do, which puts it on the higher end when compared to the other phosphate test kits. Ease of use, 
it's easy to use. The hardest part is trying to use the little reagent, which you never want to see this, right? This has actually been really helpful to scare my daughter away from messing with my stuff because look, this is acid, everybody. <laughs> which is a little bit hilarious because in order to use this thing, you know, it, it's, it's a powder. So you have to like hit it down and then tear it or cut it and then open it and then kind of fold it and push it in there. It takes a little bit of practice to use. So ease of use, it's relatively easy as long as you can master the art of the reagent. Readability, it's foolproof. It tells you exactly what the reading is. Quality and durability, I mean, it comes in a secure plastic packaging. The checker itself is really good and the glass vials are good. So this is a high quality, highly durable product. Hands down, the best characteristic of the HANA phosphate checker is it is the most accurate out of any of the phosphate checkers we're looking at today. The worst part of the HANA phosphate checker is after you add the reagent, you literally have to shake it for two minutes straight. Number three, we got the NIOS phosphate test kit. I really like the NIOS line of test kits overall, but they are a bit on the spendy side because they don't sell reagents, so you have to buy the whole test kit every time. This is one of the more expensive test kits we are trying today. This costs $25 for 50 tests, which means it's about 50 cents a test, and since you can't buy that reagent, it's always gonna be 50 cents a test, which is even more than buying a HANA checker long run. Time-wise, this thing is a beast. There is a 10 minute wait time after all the reagents are added, and overall, this takes me about 12 minutes, which is going to be the lengthiest test we're looking at today. Ease of use, it's easy to use. You just fill up the vials, you add the reagents, you shake it for a little while, and you wait. Readability, the NIOS phosphate test kit is easy to read up to one part per million. You really can't go above that. It's just an easy test kit to read. It has two vials, you compare colors. I find that method to be really helpful. And there's enough difference in coloration from nothing all the way up to the blue that it's relatively easy to read. Quality and durability, I mean, the paper packaging itself isn't anything amazing, but these vials are some of the thickest, hardiest vials I've ever used. So I would call this a high quality, durable product as long as you don't get the packaging wet. My favorite characteristic of the NIOS phosphate test kit is that it's easy to read. And my least favorite characteristic is that it takes 12 minutes to get a reading, which is significantly longer than every other test kit we're looking at today. Coming up number four on our list is the Red Sea Phosphate Pro Test Kit. These are middle of the road price wise. For 100 tests, it costs $46. So you're looking at 46 cents per test, which is quite expensive. But you can buy a pack of reagent, 100 for $23. So long term, this test kit will even out somewhere around 23 cents per test. And if you know you wanna test both phosphate and nitrate, you can save quite a bit of money up front by buying the Algae Control Pro, which has both test kits. The Red Sea Phosphate 
Elite Pro test kit has a wait time of six minutes, but it takes me about eight minutes overall because there is a little bit more setup involved than some of the other tests. Ease of use, I would say it's an easy to use test kit, but since there is more to set up, it's a little bit more difficult and time consuming than some of the other test kits. Quality and durability, I mean, this is a thick, plastic case, which is better than almost all of the other test kits out there. And not only that, but the contents, the vials are also super high quality. So I would call this one very high quality and highly durable. In my opinion, the best characteristics about the Red Sea Phosphate Pro is one, it's durability, and two, it's relatively easy to read. And the worst characteristic, well, I actually have two. The first one is that this test kit only goes up to 0.64, and sometimes my phosphates do creep up higher than that. I know, I have a problem. But the most annoying thing for me has to do with this. I've never figured it out, but check this out, ready? Check this out. These vials just don't seem to be the same size, which baffles my mind. Look at this. This one goes in really easily. Oh, this one, oh my goodness. This one, I'm not even gonna push in. Like, it won't even go in. Is it, is it supposed to do that? But watch this. We go like this, we switch it up. Now we switch it over. This one, super easy. And then over here, really hard. So it's a little bit of pet peeve of mine. Like, why are the vials slightly different sizes? Is it, is that supposed to be how it is? I, I highly doubt that's supposed to be how it is, but that's one of the annoying characteristics of the Red Sea Phosphate Pro Test Kit. Maybe I just got a bum set, but I will say I have two other Phosphate Pro test kits from well back in the history, and I've had the exact same problem. Moving on to our fifth phosphate test kit by Salifert, one of the staples in this hobby. With this test kit, you get 60 tests for $20. So you're looking at 33 cents per test, which puts it right in the middle in a price per test comparison. The Salifert is one of the fastest out there as total time is one to two minutes and there's no wait time after you add the second reagent. So really, as fast as you can go is as fast as you can get this test done. Ease of use, it's really easy. You don't even have to put a cap on to shake the vial. You literally add the reagent one and two and then you just gently twirl the vial. So super easy to use. Readability, I'd call it somewhere around the moderate range and that's mainly because if you look right here once you get up to the high end you jump from 0.5 to 1 to 3 so trying to tell with any sort of accuracy what the difference is between 1 and 3 can be challenging quality and durability it's a flimsy test kit it's one of the flimsiest ones out there i'd say the ccam is probably a little bit more flimsy and that's mainly because the vial that it comes with is just super cheapy plastic that i could probably break if I squeezed it hard enough. I'd show you, but I might want to use this test kit in the future. So yeah, it's a flimsy test kit. The best characteristic of the Salford test kit is it is fast. As fast as you can do it is as fast as you can get it done because there is no wait time after you add the second reagent. And the worst characteristic is I'm just not convinced that it's super accurate, especially at the higher ranges, anything above one, it's really difficult to tell where that reading comes in. And I know you're gonna say, Matthew, why are your phosphates above one? I don't have a good answer for you, but sometimes they are. <laughs> Our sixth and final test kit comes in with Seachem. Seachem, I'm sorry, I love some of your other products, but I just don't like 
your test kits. It's just how you do the test kits. I find them so flimsy and I find them so difficult to read that I just would never use these. Now, maybe there are some people out there that absolutely love these test kits, but this is the third of your test kits that I've tried and I just don't like them. I love so many of your products, Seachem just not your test kits. This costs $14.80, so that comes out to 20 cents a test. So it is on the more affordable end for sure. And let's be honest, even though I don't like these test kits, some people may really like the methodology and find it easier to use and easier to read. Total time, one to two minutes. It is just as fast as the Salifert test kit. Ease of use, it's ridiculously easy. You just take your pipette, fill up one of the little ovals, add the two reagents, stir it for a couple seconds, and you're done. It doesn't get much easier than this test. Readability, it's moderately difficult. I do not find the Seachem test kits easy to read at all. The little paper test kit reader is super flimsy and it's a matter of how close you hold it. The angles are difficult and I just find it hard to get a super close match. So for readability, I find this moderately difficult to read. Quality and durability, it is so flimsy. Not only that, but I have used each of these one time and it's already stained blue on the inside. And no matter what I do, I can't get it out. I mean, this is the cheapest plastic you could possibly have. So this is a very flimsy, I would say even more flimsy than the Salifert test kits. The best characteristic of the Seachem phosphate test kit is it's fast. You can do it under two minutes. The worst characteristic of the Seachem phosphate test kit, everything else. Most affordable phosphate test kit. Well, here are all of the price per test breakdowns. And just a note, when we're looking at like the HANA and the Red Sea, I'm using the reagent price per test, not the initial price per test. There's a clear winner, API. Eight cents per test. That's so much cheaper than even the second closest, which is Seachem at 20 cents per test. If affordability matters, API, by far the cheapest test kit out there for phosphate. Highest quality test kit, it's a tie. It's either gonna be the plastic packaging and really strong glass vials of the Phosphate Pro test kit from Red Sea, or of course, it's gonna be the HANA Phosphate Checker, both of which the packaging and the actual test kit themselves are super durable and really high quality. Easiest to read test kit, Okay, obviously there's only one that does the reading for you and that's the HANA phosphate checker. But if we throw out the HANA phosphate checker, which is by far the easiest to read, I would say the second place winner and the easiest to read if you're just using your eye is the NIOS phosphate test kit. I would say the Red Sea is a close second, but I just find the NIOS test kit a little bit easier to read. Which test kit is the easiest to use? It's HANA. Every other test kit has two reagents. The HANA just has one reagent. As soon as you get the hang of opening that little white reagent pack, it's really easy to use. If I had to choose a second place for easiest to use, I'd probably give it to Salifert. Salifert just makes really simple test kits across the board. If speed is the most important factor when buying a phosphate test kit, there's a tie, both of which can be done really as fast as you can do it. That is the Salford test kit and the Seacom test kit. But obviously, if speed is the most important factor, I would go with the Salford test kit. It will take you under two minutes to complete the test. Drum roll, please. My overall favorite, and this is the one I told you at the beginning that I was gonna pinky swear to try to be unbiased, but at the end of the day, it's just my absolute favorite test. It's high quality, it's super durable, it's relatively affordable in the long run, and it's incredibly accurate. Which one am I talking about? The HANA checker, without a doubt. If you're going to buy one phosphate test kit, and phosphate is one of those parameters that you test frequently, hands down, spend the $50, buy a couple extra 25 packs of reagent, and you'll be good to go for a long time. And for whatever reason, if that didn't sell you, if you are just not a fan of HANA or you prefer to use something else, second place, NIOS, also good test kit. Links to all six of the test kits and the reagents is below the fold in the description below. And if you found this video useful at all, please do consider subscribing and signing up for the newsletter at Marine Depot and at My First Fish Tank. Until next time, happy reefing everybody. We'll see you again.